Hello everyone, this is Aaron Carlino from Left in Maine. This is the third tutorial in a series of three on the Uploadify module. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about integrating Amazon S3 storage with the Uploadify module. If you're not familiar with Amazon S3 storage, the concept is pretty simple. It's a third-party service that stores files remotely. People like it because it's fairly cheap storage and if you have a lot of files on your server and you're concerned about disk space or security or a number of other things it makes sense to store the files remotely. Uploadify can integrate with Amazon S3 easily and as you might have guessed the first step in integrating is going to be adding those API keys that you got when you sign up for Amazon S3. There are two of them and we need to add them to the config.php file. Here you see that I have S3 file set auth access secret. The access key and the secret key are known to anyone who has signed up for an Amazon S3 storage account. I've also set a default bucket for my files. In Amazon S3 language, a bucket is just a folder. It can be arbitrary and as long as it doesn't contain any illegal characters or it doesn't use a reserved name such as assets or uploads you can pretty much set it to anything and if the folder doesn't exist it will create it for you. The Uncle Cheese test that I've added here is going to appear as a subdomain for the Amazon S3 server when I go to get my file. So let's look at the job application page we've been working on. You see I've added a few relationships here. I have a has one S3 test and a has many many S3 files. It is necessary to refer to S3 file when you're, when you're using Amazon S3 storage. You can't use a regular file object. An S3 file is not a subclass of the Silverstripe file object. If it were, we would have a lot of conflicts in the asset admin area because the files are stored remotely and the file system would not be reconcilable with database records for files that don't exist. So unfortunately we do have to use something external to the file class in Silverstripe, but I've ported over a lot of the functionality that is contained in that file class that you probably will want, such as the URL function and icon function, without dupl duplicating too much code, I hope. With the has many relationship, it's going to be the same thing that we saw in tutorial one. We can't refer to the parent object without creating a foreign key on the child object, so in order to have a job application page ID on S3 file, we can either decorate S3 file or we can subclass it. And in this case, I've subclassed it to have a has one job application page. The CMS fields are almost exactly the same, only you're going to use different class names. We have S3 upload field and S3 multiple upload field. The same rules apply that we refer to the relationship, S3 test, and many S3 files. In the CMS, we're going to see a stripped-down version of Uploadify field. Here we're on the S3 storage tab, I'm managing a single file to store on Amazon S3. We can't choose folders, we can't import existing files, of course. So we just have a browse button and we'll choose an image that we want to store on Amazon S3. And it does take a little bit of processing time after the upload to move it over to the uh, third third party server. And in this case, I've modified the template a little bit for this demo, so we can see that the URL does exist. Uncle Cheese Test S3 Amazon AWS .com. and there's the image. And if I click on it, I get a result. So that's that file is now stored remotely, and I can do the same thing. As, uh, as I can do with native files, which is to delete them or just remove them from the relationship. Lastly, we'll just test the many S3. Now you may be wondering, how do I choose a different bucket for my different files? And you may have, you saw in the config.php that we did set a global setting for the bucket, Uncle Cheese test, but it's not necessary to do that at a global level. The default bucket is just if you don't specify one, it will fall back on what's been globally defined. But we can just as easily define that on an instance level, 
using S3 like that. That will apply the bucket to just that one instance of your S3 uploader. So my files have been uploaded. I can sort them and everything is good. So this is my first foray into Amazon S3. I'm not too familiar with the service, so I suspect that there will be some pushback on some of the features and maybe some requests for new features. But I encourage you to check out Uploadify and check out my blog, leftinmain.com, for news related to Uploadify and other modules that I've been developing. And you can look forward to code examples for this tutorial as well at leftinmain.com. Thank you very much for tuning in. Bye-bye.